Dr. Laurel Stanley and I came to teach this course through many years of tracking contaminants in streams and groundwater. One of the projects that I developed with the American Water Works Association Research Foundation was developing fingerprinting techniques for sources of nutrients and pathogens in watersheds. This project led to a study up in the state of New York where we developed a system to protect New York City's watersheds, drinking water sources, through looking at where all the sources of contaminants were and building a baseline. One of the key concepts that we're going to discuss in this course is how to choose the right tracers, the right number of tracers to make sure that you identify the sources of contamination in your watershed. We will be looking at both point and non-point sources of contamination to watersheds. And for example, one of the non-point sources that we look at is road runoff. They can contribute heavy metals and oil and grease to watersheds. Other sources of contamination include nutrients and pathogens. It's critical to accurately determine what the sources are for those because it's very expensive to clean up what you think might be causing the problem and have it not solve the problem. In a contaminant trackdown study, you'll be able to really assess more fully where those contaminants are coming from. The methods that you'll learn in this course will also be applicable to industrial processes and groundwater contamination situations. My teaching style is very interactive. We'll have several breakout sessions where you will learn how to do a contaminant trackdown study using examples. The people who should take this class include watershed managers, uh, people concerned with water quality, fisheries biologists, and consultants who help companies and municipalities deal with their affluence.